Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range with the Palmetto State Armory AKV-9. And the reason we're here is to subject it to our gauntlet test. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with this test, basically it started with handguns a couple years ago, and now we've moved it over into PCCs because these have become so popular. And in essence, what we do is we do the first run that we call the elemental test, which is we just put it in the water, fire it, then put it in the sand, fire it, clean it off in the water, go to the dirt, fire it, clean it off in the water, go to the mud, and so forth and so on. That's the elements test. If the gun does well in that test, then we go to what we call the gauntlet. We just go from water, sand, dirt to mud, no wash cycle in between. Now, historically, this has been very hard on handguns. Very few of them have ever made it through the gauntlet without having at least one malfunction. Will the PCCs do better when we subject them to the exact same conditions? That's what we're going to find out. Now, we've already done one with the Strybog, and this will be our, our second test with the AKV-9. We will make the weapon ready. We're going to load it, put it around the chamber, put the safety on, and then go from that position. We will be using factory PSA magazines, and the ammunition we're going to be using is Federal 124 grain ball. And we'd like to thank our Federal friends for sending the ammunition to us for free. They uh, certainly help support the channel by supplying the ammunition at no charge. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's get this party started. Let's go ahead. First, we're going to fire 15 rounds. Now, we're only loading the magazines with 15 rounds. We're going to fire 15 rounds to confirm function, and then we'll move right into the test. And she's working good, even that empty brass. All right, so let's go ahead and make the weapon ready. 15 rounds of Federal, put the weapon on safe, and in the water we go. All right, here we go. All right. Don't have to wash it, because we just stuck it in the water. Let's go ahead and, now we're just gonna put it in the sand and push it down. We'll get a little bit more rigorous in the next series of tests. And then send some lead down range. All right, I'm gonna wash it off and it's water there. Ugh. All right. Now we'll go to dirt. If I can get a magazine in there, a little bit gritty. Push it down in the dirt. Here we go. PCCs definitely seem to do better. All right, oh, we gotta wash her off first. Almost forgot my own protocol there. Certainly if we would have left that safety off, it would have changed things. Put her in the mud, push it down. Flip her over, and this is where I get really dirty. All right, now you wash the gun off in its own dirty water to reset the test. And now we're gonna do the gauntlet. This thing's doing great so far. I'd like to thank our friends at Big Daddy Unlimited for helping to make this and other videos possible. If you'd like to help us out, swing by the BDU website, and just for 99 cents, you can try out their service for one month. And they're basically like the Sam's Club of the online world, so check them out. If you would like to stay a member, go by militaryarms.org. There's a big link right at the top of the website, and you can stay a member for 20% off every month going forward. So please check them out. All right, guys, we have washed the gun off in its own dirty water to reset the test. We're gonna go ahead and take 15 rounds of Federal. And now the gauntlet commences.
<laughs> Sands making magazine insertion difficult. All right, and then we. All right, we're on over. <laughs> this one's gonna ace it. Let's see what the mud does. That's quite a bit of weight to the gun. <laughs> oh man, this is my least favorite part. <laughs> Swipe off some of the mud externally, and here we go. Jason's standing way back. And we have a flawless run by the AKV9. So we suspected this may have happened. So what we're going to do is clean her up one more time. And we're going to run her through the gauntlet with the safety in the fire position, which will allow stuff into the trigger mechanism. And we'll see how well she does then. We want to stress that these tests are done primarily for entertainment. These are not scientific in nature. So please don't sell a gun based upon what you see in these tests and don't buy a gun based solely upon what you see in these tests. Take them for what they are. And yes, there's certain information that you can glean from these tests to give you an idea about the performance of a particular firearm in extreme conditions. But again, keep in mind, it's not scientific. And we just want to drive that point home. This is the first time ever we've actually taken a gun, run it through the gauntlet, and it did so well that we're going to run it through again, changing the parameters of the test just to see if we can get it to choke. We have the gun that's been sitting in its own dirty water there. We're going to Go ahead and load her up, and we're gonna go through the gauntlet again. This time, we're gonna leave the safety in the fire position, thereby allowing stuff to get in through the little hole right there behind the bolt carrier, or the bolt in this case. All right, so let's go ahead, run her through the gauntlet with the safety off. She's kind of gritty already. There we go. Is she gonna make it? <laughs> Be pretty impressive if she does. Oh, some sand definitely fell in there. I think this is where it ends. I think this is where it ends. All right. <laughs> as soon as I look away, it. Oh, okay. One failure to fire. Where'd that round go? Didn't even touch the primer. Trigger's not resetting. Oh, it's locked open. Okay, so we had trigger not resetting and one failure to fire. We got sand in our dirt. We need to be more careful. All right. Here we go. Yeah, she's definitely getting slow. <laughs> the action, that is. All right, and I'm getting dirt in the sand. <laughs> May have to space these out a little bit. All right, here we go. Trigger not resetting. I'd have to help the trigger to reset, but it fired all rounds in the magazine, and uh, there we go, couldn't find it, and locked open. So we're just having some trigger reset issues. Boy, that bolt's really slowing down. Here we go, guys. That thing's like heavy when it's caked in wood. All right. Here we go. Will she make it? <laughs> Every time I look away. Trigger reset issues one time. 
And this gun just blasted through the gauntlet twice and once with its safety in the fire position. That's amazing. That is amazing. I did not expect it to do that well in the second pass. Wow. Cool. Well, let's clean it up and see if we can get it to fire a magazine after we hose it off. I think I already know the answer to that question. <laughs> What can I say, guys? This thing absolutely blew me away in terms of how well it went through the gauntlet. I didn't think it was going to make it to the second pass. That uh, the fact that it made it all the way through, mostly having trigger reset issues and uh, one failure to fire for sure that I know about, maybe one malfunction. Boy, it's funny how it's all a blur after just doing it, but it actually did quite well. Uh, far better, again, than I had ever expected. And it seems that maybe the PCCs are going to be more reliable than the handguns. The handguns are more exposed because their slides are operating in the open where uh, in many cases PCCs like this have a bolt inside that's encased in a receiver. And so maybe we need to rethink the gauntlets with regards to PCCs. We'll find out. But uh, at, for now we're going to continue on in the way we've been doing them. Well, I look forward to your comments down below guys. Let me know what you think of the AKV-9. What we're going to do now is confirm function. We hose this thing off like we always do in the past. We take the garden hose to it, strip it down, hose it down, get it all clean, as clean as we can get with just water, no lubricant. Magazine goes back in without any gritty feeling whatsoever. The bolt's moving fine now. Will it cycle the rounds of the magazine? My guess is yes. Yeah, guys, that's just amazing. What an awesome little nine millimeter PCC. I love them. I really do. After they made the changes to it, put the Mac bracket in there and did some other changes that we found some problems with the initial design. Uh, this has been nothing but an outstanding performer for me. All right, guys, if you'd like to see more tests like this, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Down in the video description, you're going to find a link to Patreon. Give it a click, check it out, and again, consider becoming part of our Patreon family. Also, right here on YouTube, underneath the video player, there's a little join button. Click that join button and consider supporting us right here on YouTube. And last but not least, guys, swing by and check out coppercustom.com. Thank you for 12 years of support. We'll talk to you guys soon.